Th this is where I start getting into the, you know, do we have to start looking at McDermott? Um, McDermott in particular, I, I don't see there being a change midseason. Um, but I'm looking at this and it's just this this catalog he's he's been building um, over a, a fairly short tenure as a coach. It's going to be year five. Um, of just these really, really dramatic ways of losing. And I started counting these up last night, and I'm, I'm sure I'm missing some. Um, but we get into 13 seconds. Um, Hale Murray, the Justin Jefferson play, um, this one last night, a couple this year. Um, I mean, that that Giants game really could have easily gone, si gone the other way. Um, just building this catalog of super dramatic losses and at a, at a certain point like I don't know who to put that on other than the coaching staff and this one last night I'm watching this you know final drive of the game happen and sitting on the couch I text my brothers a couple group chats I'm in I'm like you know what this is gonna come down to a game winning field goal attempt by Denver like we we don't deserve to have won this game in the least uh but the silver lining was their kicker he already doinked one in the game uh, two of the field goals he made were just just squeak through the pipe if it was like you know another yard or two further they're probably not going in so i'm sitting here saying you know what we have no business winning this game um but hey if it comes down to a, you know a game winning kick I wouldn't have a ton of faith in Will Lutz right now. And comes down to it, they set up for the game winning field goal. You know, they're they're even, you know, doing the kneel down, saving clock, out of timeouts. They have to sprint their field goal unit onto the team. They can't stop the clock. You know, just the running clock field goal. And they miss it. We won the game. We won a game that we have no business winning. Uh, and then you see the flag on the field and you know i'm i'm thinking you know what did we get one of these you know horse shit you know hit the hit the center used them for leverage type plays you know you see those kind of happen more in an, in an urgent situation you know short field goal for the game being on the line players you know try to do that little extra to get a field goal block uh, nope uh 12 men on the field it's just something that you can't make up. I mean, you're playing against a team in Denver, three win team that they have to trot on their field goal unit, you know, for a game winning attempt and their operation super clean, you know, offense right off the field, kicking team back on. They had something like 17 seconds to work with. They were set up and ready to go by 11 seconds. Um, on the other side, you look at the Bills and, you know, it looks like defenders don't know who's supposed to be coming off the field. They're scurrying, there's confusion, and we end up with 12 players on the field. I mean, the, this whole this whole possession leading you to there, I mean, the, the Broncos are taking the knee to kill clock. You have this whole series, knowing that, knowing that it's going to end with, they're going to run down run down the clock as much as they can and they're going to have an on the fly field goal attempt you knew that i knew that everybody in the stadium knew that we weren't ready and that to me is what pushes this you know one step closer to just the unacceptable um some of these losses you know i can chalk up to you know, defense is super banged up. You're, you know, waiting for the next man up to kind of, you know, get get back to a similar level. There is an adjustment period. Um, you know, trade deadline, bringing in Razul Douglas is some help because you lost Trey White. Um, adding Linval Joseph in free agency. And he's playing significant steps and looking pretty good. Uh some of these losses, like I said, you, you dealt with 
just a myriad of the worst possible injuries you could have on defense in uh, Milano, Daquan Jones, and Trey White. That's like the three top people you couldn't lose from this defense, and they went down like consecutive weeks. Um, if we were losing, if we lost this game because the defense couldn't stop another team, I it'd still be frustrating, you know, especially being the Broncos, which you know they're a three win team, but they're they're not the same team that we saw the Dolphins absolutely schmack. Um, they've kind of been ascending, but still, still a team that, uh, you should have beaten. Um, like I said, if it was the defense that cost us this game, super frustrating, I would get it to an, to an extent, you know, being that we can't finish off a game with all of these opportunities that were given to the offense, uh, that's, that's unacceptable in itself for me. And then just the final, the final series there of. Not being, I don't even care if you have your, you know, kick coverage on the field. Leave your same 11 defenders out there. They're kicking a field goal. They're, we're not going to have a fake field goal with time expiring when they need three points. Or what do they, I think they needed two points at the time, whatever it was. Um, we're not going to see some sort of crazy fake. Just leave your 11 guys from defense on the field and just line up for the field goal. Anything would be better than shit. Have 10 people out there. The fact that game on the line, last play that you need to execute to come out of this game at home with a win you had no business getting to fuck that up. There's got to be more accountability than, you know, we'll go back and look at the tape. We need to play with more urgency. All these lines that we have, we keep hearing. Um, there's got to be something that changes. 